Okay, I wanted to show you guys some of the fall titles that we purchased. So these are fall 2018 new release titles and um, they're not all of the titles, it's just the titles we decided to purchase. So I'm gonna jump right in and keep this as short as I can. The first one we decided to buy was Life Size. This book is huge. Um, like here, okay, here's my hand in relation to the front of the book. This thing is gigantic. Reason why is it allows your child to come paw to paw with a polar bear and compare their little hand to that of a polar bear's paw. Or nose to beak with a toucan and compare the size or eye to eye with a squid. So here's a squid's eye. And compare the actual size. Um, this one's really hard to flip through because it is so big, uh, but it is recommended for ages three plus. Okay, the next one I have is Mythical Beasts Masks. And this comes with 10 three-dimensional masks that your child can put together and wear. So it there's a griffin, um, there's a unicorn, a griffin, I don't know what all of them are. Um, nonetheless, they're all mythical creatures. Oh, here's the table of contents, if you're interested in seeing that. So this is super cool. And this one is, oh, there's a werewolf. This one is recommended for ages eight plus. Next one I have to show is called Dragon Post. And this is a story of a little guy that finds a dragon living underneath his stairs. So he begins writing letters to all sorts of people around town to find out how to properly care for this dragon. So you will see that there are all these little envelopes inside the book and inside the envelope, there's an actual letter that Alex has written to find out, oop, I had that upside down, how to care for this um, dragon. I'm gonna quickly flip through these so you can see. So there's another envelope with a letter. And here's another one. And the story continues on like that. So it's super cute and that there's these little envelopes with letters that this little guy wrote to figure out how to take care of his newly found pet dragon under the stairs. This one is recommended for ages four to eight. Next, I have this little um, transfer book of unicorns. And I, in reading the instructions, it sounds like, so here's a little transfer things. It sounds like you use a ballpoint pen or a pencil and that you're able to transfer um, the images over. And this one is recommended for four plus. Moving right along, I have the STEM engineering book. And this is, um, an, it's obviously an activity book. So this is actually how engineers would work through and solve problems. So one of the things in here is um, building bridges and everything in here is clear scientific principle or engineering principle, and it allows you to explore hands-on in a very interactive way. And this one is recommended for ages eight plus. And I believe there was another version of this that um, came out in the fall, and I think it might've just been called Science, if I'm right, I could be wrong. Next one is Kitty Cat, Kitty Cat, Where Have You Been? I grabbed The Rome because it was um, the newest release title that I wanted to look inside. And so this one will take Little Kitty Cat through the Italian capital and look at all of the major tourist attractions. So it goes through the Colosseum, um, the Sistine Chapel, and so on. And this one is recommended for ages three plus. So any of my um, Italian friends out here, this is a great, great book for you to grab for your little people. And there's several other um, versions of this book also. Next thing I'm moving into is Ella Diaries. This is book seven in the series, recommended for ages eight, eight through 12. Um, I'm, I'm only flipping through this to give you an idea of the text so that you can decide if this is something that would be appropriate and keep your child um, engaged. Okay, next book I have, and this is a newer 
a newer series. Um, this is book four that I decided to grab because it was the newest one that came out this fall. It's a thicker chapter, chapter book recommended for ages eight plus. You'll see inside this, there are no pictures. Uh, well, I take that back. There were a few. I saw a couple. Uh, nonetheless, this is definitely intended for an older audience. It's a mystery, um, kind of solve it, whodunit type of story. And like I said, this is a series, I think I said. So this is a series, this is book four. Um, next one I have is Animal Crosswords. So this will test your knowledge ranging from um, kitty cats to kangaroos, all the way through um, panda bears and so forth. And so let me show you what this looks like. Of course, the answer key is in the back. I've never been a crossword person. I guess my knowledge base just isn't strong enough to do a crossword, I don't know but it does have all of the answers in the back. And this little book is recommended for ages six plus. And everything in this one is animal themed. Okay, next one is Tom and Tallulah and the Witch's Feast. So this is a new series that came out this fall. And this one is um, about a little witch, uh, Tallulah, who has to prove herself in creating a feast. And I'm flipping through to give you an idea of the size of the text and pictures on the pages to see if this is something that might be the right reading level. It's recommended for ages seven plus, and it's probably something that I'm gonna have to read because I'm all about witches and magical things. Um, next thing I have is Bully on the Bus. This is not a new fall title. It's just one I decided to put in my cart because of things that happen in the world and I think it's important. So Bully on the Bus um, talks about the emotions that a seven-year-old experiences as the bully on the bus taunts him and threatens him. And um, eventually this, this book actually ends up with a very heartwarming and empower, uh, empowering um, story. And it, 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 it gives courage to anybody that may be having um, some issues or feeling small or anything to that effect. So. Um, the text is in a rhyming verse type of manner. So you can see it's not just like a story. It's like, it's like written through verses and it's a chapter book, Bully on the Bus. This one is recommended for ages seven plus. Okay, the next one I have is The Missing Ace. This is book number one in this series. And this one is about um, this little man named Constantino and he's performing in his old rundown theater and he is um, approached by a two-headed king and he has to try and save himself and everybody for that matter from this king and his army of 52. This one is recommended for age seven plus and there's all kinds of cool little pictures in here. Um, again, just flipping through to give you an idea of whether or not this might be the right size text. Um, and illustrations to keep your child engaged. Um, this is a series, so there's others in that if you're interested. Next one I have is The History of Science in 100 Pictures. This is not a flat book, this is just a book with 100 beautiful pictures, and it talks about all of the major advances in science. So tiny particles, sending people to the moon, um, medicine and things of that nature. This one is recommended for ages 10 plus. Let me get some more pages in here. Okay. Some of these bigger books are really hard to flip through. And hold. Okay. Next one I have is Sticker Dolly Dressing, Dogs and Puppies. So this sticker book takes you through a dog salon, a dog boutique, here's all the stickers in the back, obedience school, and you get to do all the stickers on the corresponding pages here. I skipped a bunch of pages, um, but nonetheless, you get the idea of putting the stickers on the corresponding pages. This one is recommended for um, ages five plus, it's a little bit older than the first sticker books because the stickers have some smaller pieces, so it's a little bit harder to maybe rip them off the page. Next one I have that I wanna share is called Lift the Flap Seasons and Weathers, 
seasons and weather. This one is um, recommended for probably ages four plus. It goes through the four different seasons. And this book has, I think, over 70 flaps to lift. And I started to open them and, and kind of pull them out. And I just got, there were so many, I just, I stopped because I was doing it for the purpose of this video. Um, so the book continues on like that, going through the different seasons, weather, and it eventually goes into how to dress appropriately for the different seasons. Um, like I said, this one is recommended for four plus, I believe. Next one I wanna show you is a fold-out solar system. So this is a double-sided fold-out type of book. I'm gonna flip it over here and give you the back side. And this one is recommended for ages seven plus. They're all, there are all sorts of little nuggets of information and factoids on this. And it's kind of like a thicker material. It'd be kind of cool to prop up and you could lay on the floor and look at that all night long. Um, the next one I wanna show you is Little Sparkly Sticker Book. This one has over 100 stickers in it. Not all the stickers are glittery, but a lot of them are. So you can see once you get in here, a lot of the stickers are sparkly. And then of course they go on the corresponding pages here in the front. This one's recommended for ages four plus. Um, I know my two and a half, almost three year old would get a kick out of this. So I don't know that four is, it's a recommendation. Okay, next things I wanna show you, and these are really cool. These are new, these embroidery kits. This comes with everything you need to actually create this, um, this little embroidery. So it comes with the frame, the needles, the thread, um, and a 16 page step-by-step -step book. This is recommended for ages seven plus. There's a mermaid and there is a unicorn. Next we have, these are some of my favorite things, the book and jigsaw puzzle pack. So I grabbed the dinosaur puzzle because I thought Lucy might get a kick out of it. And I saw somebody else post it and I thought it was really beautiful. This puzzle is a hundred pieces. And the pieces are, I didn't open this bag, but there's the size of the puzzle piece, so it's not tiny. So it's, it's probably good enough that you could um, do it over the course of a couple nights if you wanted to. And then the book that it comes with is a puzzle, kind of like seek and find type of book. So the dinosaurs have like a little blurb that they're saying about finding something, and then you have to I think you're supposed to find it on that page. And then on the back. It has um, a coloring sheet, and then it also has all the little things circled. And the puzzle pack is recommended, um, or the dinosaur puzzle and book is recommended for HS6 Plus, but I got it with the intention to use it with Lucy because she loves puzzles, and she's almost three, so. Um, next thing that I have that I wanna show you is called Mind Your Manners. And this one talks about misbehaving animals and why they need to use their good manners and why good manners make the world go round. And this one is, so it has pleases and thank yous, using quiet, soft voices, apologies, um, a, a couple other hot manner topics. And this one is recommended for ages three to seven. So this is a great, um, in addition to um, the other Miss Molly School of Manners book. Next one I sh wanna show you is a Fox's Box. This one is full of animals, colors, um, adjectives, and it has rhyming and rhythmic text. Let's see, it's super cute. It's recommended for ages two plus, and I think it would just be a good go-to story. I love the images are subtle. They're not like super overpowering. And the book is a good size. It's kind of small. Um, so there's Facts with Box. Um, next one I have is Colorful World Construction Side. So this is a um, different puzzle to solve on every page. So you can see on this one, which one of, I can't read upside down, which one is not a wrecking ball, who isn't working, and the book continues on that way to find and spot different things. This one is recommended for ages two to four. 
Next one I have is Where's the Little Mouse? I'm trying to turn my page here. Okay. Uh, Where's the Little Mouse? This has questions and answers full of detail to talk about. Um, the illustrations in this are really cute. It's got like the glossy cover on the, the pages so that if there's um, chewing or drooling or slobbering, I don't think it'll harm the pages. This one is recommended for Infant Plus. Next thing to show you is a pop-up fairy tale. Um, so this one is Sleeping Beauty. This is recommended for ages three plus. I'm just not sure about that because I know like my three-year-old would, um, I, I just don't think it, the book would last with my three-year-old, but if your three-year-old is different than mine, I think these are so cool. And they're incredibly like magical. So when you turn the page, Sleeping Beauty, I was holding her down. Sleeping Beauty is no longer asleep. Okay, next one I have is Just So Stories. This has six different stories recommended for ages three plus. And I think this is a compilation of different stories that Usborn already has published in standalone titles. Okay, we're almost to the end here. The next one I have is the complete Jane Austen set. This has six titles, six Jane Austen titles. Inside, let's see if I can get there to show them to you. Okay. And this one is recommended for ages nine plus. This would probably be a great gift for a little girl if you're still reading to her in the evenings at bedtime. Uh, next thing I have is Scratch Junior Coding. This one is recommended for ages four plus, and it has step-by-step -step instructions for coding your own stories and games. And so all you need for this is a, um, is a download of this specific app, Scratch Junior, and then you can play this on a computer or a tablet. I don't think you can play it on a phone. It didn't say specifically, but it said a tablet or a computer, so I'm going to go with that. And then the last one I have to show you is um, the rubber stamps activities animal. So you use these little stamps here in the ink pad and you create all these little animals here in these pages or decorate them. And this one is recommended for ages four plus also. So I hope you guys liked um, some of these fall titles that we grabbed and please let me know if you have any questions or if there's something you want to see um, in greater detail or maybe a little bit more fully. So let me know um, if there's anything else I can help with. Bye-bye.